Welcome back to Quick Quiz Arena. We've got 30 chemistry quiz questions, starting easy and getting harder. Ready to test your knowledge? Let's jump into the first round. Let's kick off with the first set of easy questions. What is the pH of pure water? 0, 7, 10, 14. The correct answer is 7. Just like how calm we all feel when drinking water. Pure balance. Let's see what's next. What is the chemical formula for carbon dioxide? The answer is CO2. Breathe in. No, wait, breathe out. Let's keep going, next question. Which gas makes up the majority of the Earth's atmosphere? The answer is nitrogen. 78% of the air we breathe is nitrogen. What is the name of the table that organizes all the known elements? The answer is the periodic table, like a seating chart for chemical elements. Ready for more science fun? Let's go. Which gas do plants use for photosynthesis? The answer is carbon dioxide. Plants love it, and we love plants. Moving on to the next question. Which element is the main component of diamond? The answer is carbon. Yes, your pencil and that diamond ring share something in common. Next one. What is the chemical formula for water? The answer is H2O, the good stuff that keeps us all going. Time for the next question. Which element is essential for the formation of strong bones and teeth? The answer is calcium. Keep drinking that milk. Next up, which element is represented by the symbol K? The answer is potassium. Your bananas will thank you for knowing this. On to the next one. What is the chemical symbol for sodium? The answer is Na. Let's move on. Great job. Now it's time for the medium round. Let's see if you can keep up the momentum. Let's go. What is the process of a solid changing directly to a gas called? The answer is sublimation. Skipping the liquid phase just like magic. Ready for the next? Which element is represented by the symbol Fe? The answer is iron. Let's move on. Which element is liquid at room temperature? The answer is mercury, the only metal that flows like water. Next up, what is the name of the negatively charged particle in an atom? The answer is electron, zipping around the nucleus at lightning speed. On to the next. 
What is the smallest unit of matter that retains the chemical properties of an element? The answer is atom. The tiny building blocks of everything around you. What is the process of a liquid changing to a gas called? The answer is evaporation. Poof, it's gone into thin air. Let's evaporate to the next question. Which gas is used to fill balloons? The answer is helium, making your voice sound funny and balloons float. Next question, here we go. Which gas is essential for human respiration? The answer is oxygen. You just took a breath of it, moving right along. What is the name of the chemical reaction between an acid and a base? The answer is neutralization. It's chemistry's way of saying, let's calm down. Ready for the next? What is the common name for sodium chloride, NaCl? The answer is table salt. You've definitely sprinkled it on your fries. Let's move on. Nice work. You've crushed the medium round. Now it's time for the hardest questions. Ready for the final challenge? Let's dive in. Which element is the most abundant in the Earth's crust? The answer is oxygen. It makes up almost half of the Earth's crust. Let's move to the next question. Which type of bond involves the transfer of electrons from one atom to another? The answer is ionic bond. Electrons are switching places like they're at a party. On to the next one. What is the process of rusting an example of? The answer is oxidation. That's what's happening to your bike chain right now. Next question. What is the name of the process of a gas changing directly into a solid? The answer is deposition, skipping the liquid phase just like it's in a hurry. Ready for the next one? Which gas is responsible for the bubbles in soda? The answer is carbon dioxide. That's what makes your soda fizz. Moving on. What is the name given to a substance that speeds up a chemical reaction without being consumed in the reaction? The answer is catalyst. It's like the helpful friend who makes things go faster but never sticks around. Let's keep going. What is the name of the process of breaking down a compound into simpler substances using electricity? The answer is electrolysis, splitting things up with a bit of electric magic. Next question. Which type of bond involves the sharing of electrons between atoms? The answer is covalent bond. Sharing is caring even for atoms. Onward. Which element is the most abundant in the human body? The answer is oxygen. You're practically full of it. Moving on. What is the name of the chemical reaction that releases heat? Oh 
The answer is exothermic. Things are heating up with this one. You did it. How many did you get right? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more quizzes. See you next time.